I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to appreciate you for following this series on prophecy for Nigeria towards the new Nigeria. I want to assure you all that by the grace of God, we are all going to get to the new Nigeria. Weeping may last for the night, but joy come in the morning. There's going to be joy in the morning. I see a new Nigeria coming to manifestation. It will come to reality. By 2023, you will begin to see the signs. You begin to see the signs of a new dawn. A new dawn is coming. A new dawn is coming. Today, I have a prophecy for you. This prophecy is for an individual and also for the nation. The prophecy given to me by the Lord is that the whole world uh, around Bola Med Tunumbu will crumble after 2023 election. The whole war around Bola Med Tunumbu will crumble after 2023 election. The Lord gave me an anchor word in the book of Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 6. The anchor word that the Lord gave me in Ezekiel 33 verse 6, but if the, if the watchman see the sword, come and blow not the trumpet, blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the washman hand the blood will i require at the washman hand god has appointed me by his grace as a washman to this nation god has also appointed me by his special grace as a prophet to this nation that is why this platform is a running platform it's an overflowing platform we will tell you about the event of things that will happen in the future and also warn where necessary, and also pray. We pray for one another. We are not here to criticize anybody. We are not here because of uh, we belong to a particular party. No. We are here because we are here to speak the mind of God. We are here to speak God's mind. And the Lord has given me this prophecy, telling me that the walls around Bola Ahmed Tunumbu will fall. We fall after 2023 election or rather the wall around Bola Med Tunubu will fall after 2023 presidential election you are going to see walls falling this thing has taken place in the spirit realm but it is physical it is mandated that a watchman should speak the mind of god and that the people should pray the people should pray. Right from the onset, I told you that Bola Ahmed Tunumbu is a good man. He's a good man. I'm not here to condemn him. He's a good man. And anyone has right or choice to make any choice of any presidential aspirant. But from my prayer and from what the Lord has revealed to me, it is not the perfect will of God. I told you that Nigeria is at the verge of falling and we need someone like a messiah someone there's no messiah that can be like jesus jesus is lord and his savior he is the messiah that is coming to reign in the millennium reign on this earth to that we bring peace permanent peace but we need relative peace we need relative enjoyment we need relative satisfaction for now nigeria is at the edge of falling and we need someone that will come in and the Lord told me that the war around Bola Ahmed Tunumbu will fall after presidential election of 2023 election. The Lord showed me several visions, which if I begin to tell you those visions, you will come to realize that this thing is true and it will definitely take place. For months, I've told you that he will not win. And I also emphasize the vision that the Lord showed to me. The Lord showed me two elephants. I told you that long ago, 
around i think june july i made this prophecy and i i uh, on him on bola metunumbu and i also gave you this revelation i saw two elephants those two elephants were fighting they were in a battlefield and when these two elephants were in a battlefield i saw one of the elephants become weak to the point that the leg folded on the ground while the other elephant which is bola met tunubu was also weak but the lead didn't fold on the ground. And suddenly, I saw on the, on the, on the top of the one that the, the leg folded, the Lord said, this is Atiku Abubakar. Remember, I gave you instance of Atiku Abubakar pushing a mountain long ago. I said, I saw a mountain in the front of Atiku Abubakar. And the more he pushed, the more he fought. The more he pushed, the more he fought. The more he pushed, the more he fought. And this thing is coming to pass. And this thing is coming to pass. This is how this thing will come to This one that I'm talking about will come to pass. It is better if you are close to him or you know him. I don't know him. I'm not a politician. I'm just a preacher. I just speak the mind of God. If you know him, you tell him that look at what the Lord said is going to come to pass. So we, I saw that leg fold, and he, the giant, the elephant, which represents Paul Ahmed Tudubu, was also very weak. And suddenly a child climbed on top of that elephant. And the Lord said, that child that climbed on top of that elephant is Yemi Osibanjo. And I saw on the other elephant on the other elephant a king, somebody that is crowned with kingship crown sit on that elephant that the, the leg that the leg has folded on the ground which is Atiku Abubakar and the Lord said this is Peter Obi it is a progeny of the PDP it is from PDP that Peter Obi is going to derive his strength that will give him upper hand over to Numbu that was the Lord told me the progeny of PDP is going to win this election, this presidential election. The progeny of PDP, which is P2B, is going to win this presidential election. You will see it, it will come to pass. You will see it, it will come to pass. And when this progeny came out, he was able to conquer the one, the baby that was sitting on Bola Med Tunumbu, and also the, the elephant that is represent Bola Med Tunumbu. The elephant then fell on the ground and this king was able to conquer the two of them and he rose his hand as a sign of victory there's victory ahead for the presidential aspirant of labor party i don't know you but what the lord told me is what i'm telling you there's victory ahead victory is coming but that fall of bola met tunumbu is of, of that elephant that is representing Bola Ahmed Tunubu is a sign that all the walls are going to fall after election, after 2023 election. I saw in another vision that he rose very high, he fly like an eagle. Bola Ahmed Tunubu was flying up in a glamorous form in an enticing form in a form that we say oh this man is looking very fine he was going high he was swearing high like an eagle he's a woman being up but swearing very high and god said that this is bola met to him he went very high he went very high and uh, when he got to a point he fell from that high level he fall to the ground and crash and the lord said he is the one that make him rise he is he that lifted and pulled down our god is a god that lifted up and pulled down our god can decide to leave you lift you up and when he say 
step down, you say no. Leave this thing, you say no. It will, it will then harden your heart. The Lord said, I will harden the heart of this political giant. You remember when I told you? And the Lord gave me an anchor word. In Romans chapter 1, verse 28, he told me, it's going to harden the heart of these two political giants. These two political giants, I have given you who they are before. I've said it before, but, well, I meant to and AA at the Kwabupaka. He is going to harden their heart. And this hardening of heart will make him to be lifted very high. And then suddenly, he will fall down. The Lord told me, he said, he is the Lord that lifted up and break it down. The Lord said, he is bringing him down so that he can know him. God is going to express himself through the fall. So I am here to tell you that there is going to be a fall of the walls round about Tunumbu. And this fall that is coming is spiritual. This thing has taken place in the spirit realm. It has taken place in the spirit realm. It has already taken place in the spirit realm. This vision has been shown to me. The Lord showed me in the vision after the collation of the figures where he was shakingly declared and there was riot shakingly declared as president and there was commotion there was riot in that riot we see the youth we see the youth i saw people being carried hey god have mercy oh. people being carried away covered we saw military men it will get to a point the military men will be in agreement with the youth. The military men are going to be in agreement with the youth. And the system will not warrant the government, the present government or the military government to leave things to become the way they are. They will now decide, let us take over. There will be a parallel government. Military will intervene. Committee will be set up. And that is Osibanjo. Yemi Osibanjo will be the head, will be appointed, yes, I said it, will be appointed as the head of this interim committee, or which I call interim government. Because there is going to be a revolution which is not the will of God. A revolution which is not the will of God. Now, when we talk about war, what do you mean by war? The political war of Bola Ahmed Tunumbu is going to fall. When we say political war, you are going to see a scenario where APC will be under pressure during this revolution. The APC itself, which is the presidential flag bearer, I mean the, the, the ruling party, is going to be under pressure. APC will be under pressure. Normally, they will be happy to see that Tunumbu becomes the president. But th there is going to be a scenario where APC will be under pressure. When I say under pressure, under pressure, I mean under pressure. It's going to be so pressurized. The system, the APC is going to be so pressurized that they will not have any other um, option to take than to pick Yemi Osibanjo to aid the interim committee that is coming. And then I saw in a vision when Bola met Tunubu was preparing to be announced as the president. He was ready to be announced just to go swear in and give speech. And suddenly I saw men of uniform in the military regalias with gun and they pushed him out. They forced him out of the stadium. And I saw, I saw um, Yemi Osibanjo giving speech to the, to the nation. I was waving. I was waving. He went through like a Range Rover moving around and waving Nigeria. And the Lord said, this is what is going to happen. I saw Bola, I saw Bola Ahmed Tunumbu being pushed out. 
I saw also Yemi Osibanjo waving Nigeria after giving a speech to the nation. This is what is going to happen. The political wars we fall. It is my duty to warn the political wars of Bola Metunumbu we fall. The political wars of Bat we fall. I repeat, I keep repeating it because it's going to come to pass. The political war of Bat we fall. The health war is going to fall. The Lord said the health will begin to deteriorate. There will be a deterioration of his health after the presidential election. You will see it. His health will begin to deteriorate. The Lord said, I am the one that makes him strong. The same God that makes you strong is going to make you to begin the health to begin to deteriorate. If I were him, I would if I were to advise, because I don't know him, I don't have access to him. I don't know how to communicate with him. Then this platform to communicate with everybody who know him can communicate with him. If I were him, I would step away from the presidential race. There are other things to do. The Lord wants to use him mightily, but not in this presidential position. Not in this presidential position. The health is going to deteriorate. The health will deteriorate. His health war will also fall. This thing has taken place in the spirit realm. The health war is going to fall because we are going to see a scenario where the pressure and the attack will be so much. Even APC, they are going to work against him for the purpose of peace. I've told you that Buhari is going to be an agent of peace during this period of revolution. Buhari is going to be an agent of peace. Go and write it down. Yemi Osibanjo is going to be an agent of peace. Go and write it down. It's going to come to pass. Muhammad Buhari will make peace during this period. And this peace is going to negate the ambition of Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. By the time this interim government come in place, you will also see a scenario where the, this interim government will be under pressure. And it will have no option than to, than to, than to say no to Tunumbu's request or ambition of being president. Financial war is also going to collapse. We are going to see a scenario where he is going to be tried. They will try, they will check his wealth. The militaries are going to be involved. They are going to recover wealth from him. They are going to recover wealth from him. I saw him and I saw other politicians. They were tried. Their money was, they will check the source of their money. They begin to interrogate and begin to investigate. His finance is also going to go down. The walls are going to fall. These are what we are seeing. If because after that scenario of that vision, the elephant rested his back on the ground. That's a, sorry, the side, not the back like this, but the side, it fell on the ground. There's going to be a fall of all the walls around him. Political walls will fall. Financial walls will fall. Health war will fall. Social war will also fall. Because he's going to see a scenario where the connection will break. There will not going to be connection for him any longer. Because the power now will be given to the people. The Lord in the spirit realm has already transferred power to the people. The people are in charge of power. Power is no longer the way it used to be. It is a spiritual thing. It is not a physical thing. What we see is beyond the natural. We are seeing beyond the natural. By the grace of God. God is going to break him to the point where he will now begin to seek God. He will now begin to seek God and say, God, God, have mercy. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. So that's why the Lord has given me this word. So that we can know the event of things that are going to happen. The Lord has prepared that the PDP, I told you that PDP is going to presidential ambition will crash land. Be a month, it will be very glaring a month before the election. You are going to see more crash and crash and crash and crash. I said this months ago. 
and these are my, these are coming to pass. I said it months ago when I talked about wicked. Some people laugh. Mm -hmm. You saw a vision, vision here. Yeah, you have started seeing. You are just hallucinating. We are not hallucinating, no. I am not hallucinating. I'm here to tell you the mind of God. That is why I always tell you. After I've told you, I say, watch and pray, watch and pray, because these are, these things must happen for the new Nigeria to manifest. New Nigeria will not just come. God is not a god of magician. God is a God of planning. He plans ahead. He makes sure things are being planned ahead. He makes sure things are being planned. Connection is going to fail him. You will see it. Connection will fail him after the 2023 presidential election. Connection of that will fail him. It's going to fail him woefully. Connection in the north, connection in the south, connection in the east. You will now see that all power belongs to God. All power belongs to God. All power belongs to God. No power belongs to man. Man is just mortal. Man is mortal. The manufacturer of man is saying that all power belongs to him. And that he is going to bring him down. He's going to bring him down. That he's going to fall. So the advice, if it were possible, if you can forsake this ambition and go ahead and become a spokesman for the nation, it will be better. Because that's the will of God. God doesn't even want him to, to go in for this presidency. God doesn't want him to go in for this presidency. Because he, 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 after this 2023 presidential election, you will see that he will lose re political relevance. He's going to lose political relevance. And that's why I'm saying this thing. I keep repeating it because I know it will come to pass. It will lose political relevance because the war of political relevance will fall. The war of political re relevance will fall. So he will lose political relevance. He will lose political re re relevance. This is what is going to come to pass. This thing is going to manifest. Because now he has political relevance. He has friends. He has fans. He has people. But after that presidential election of 2023, but we lost his political relevance. Connection will be no more. He will also lose support. He will lose support because he's going to be having crisis upon crisis. He's going to be having this case. He will have this case. There will be court case. There will be court case. There will be revolution. There will be attack. There will be this. There will be that. And these things are going to affect his health. It's going to affect the mental health. It's going to affect the physical health. It's going to affect the psyche. It's going to affect the mind. So I love him. I love him. I love Bart. I love Bart. I love Bola Tunumbu. But I will tell him the mind of God. It is the mind of God that I'm saying that let him relax. Forget about this presidential ambition. Because what we are seeing we don't want it to, to come to pass. We don't want it to come to pass. If if he can say, oh, what they are saying, let me even forget about this presidential ambition. You are going to see peace. Peace in the heart. I pray that the Lord will help us. This is what I have for you today. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. We are heading towards a new Nigeria. And it will come to pass. It will come to pass. Many people that you see that have political relevance very soon, their political relevance will be no more. It is the Lord that lifted up and pulled down. And the Lord has put us here as watchman to speak his mind so that nobody blood will be on our head. Our own is to speak the mind of God. I pray that the Lord will help this nation as we move towards the new Nigeria. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. It will come to pass. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Don't forget to pray. Watch and pray. Lord help you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.